Beneath Australia lies a mysterious structure that could turn our current understanding of the Earth on its head. It could be the largest impact crater ever discovered on the planet. Be sure to stay tuned until the end to find out all about the incredible mystery of Australia. If you like it, then I'm galactically happy about a thumbs up and a comment because that way this exciting topic will be shown to even more people by the algorithm. Thanks guys and welcome. Let's travel back in time to about 65 million years ago, when the Earth was still populated by giant lizards. The dinosaurs died out back then due to a devastating natural disaster. This event is also known as the Cretaceous Tertiary Mass Extinction because it took place in the geological era of the Cretaceous and Tertiary periods. However, the exact cause of the mass extinction of the dinosaurs is still the subject of scientific research. But the leading theory is that a massive asteroid impact on the Yucatan Peninsula in present-day Mexico was the main trigger. There are a few other vague theories. Let me know in the comments what other theories you know about the mass extinction of the dinosaurs. I'm very curious. Of course, the asteroid did not hit the dinosaurs directly and thus contribute to their extinction. But the asteroid impact led to enormous environmental changes such as forest fires, tsunamis, and devastating climate changes. In addition, one consequence was that sunlight was drastically reduced due to the many dust particles in the Earth's atmosphere that were released by the impact, which logically led to a drop in temperatures, disrupting plant photosynthesis, and causing the food chain to collapse. It's kind of amazing that there were already problems with supply chains back then. But that was a real problem back then, because it didn't just kill the dinosaurs, but also many other species of herbivores that simply couldn't find anything to eat and died as a result. And the carnivores then couldn't find any more prey and died. And that was not all. It is assumed that there was a massive sulfur emission that polluted the atmosphere with aerosols and sulfuric acid, which could have led to acid rain. And let someone say again that we live in a bad world today. In any case, this asteroid impact left behind a gigantic crater, namely the Chicxulub Crater. Can anyone actually pronounce that correctly? We don't know. The crater was first discovered in the 70s. It is about 66 million years old, and this age correlates closely with the mass extinction I just told you about. At 180 kilometers, it is one of the largest impact craters on Earth. That's about the size of the island of Puerto Rico, so it's incredibly huge. This is by no means the largest impact crater. The largest known impact crater on Earth to date was the Vredefort Crater in South Africa. This crater was formed more than 2 billion years ago and has a diameter of 300 kilometers. This is roughly what my stomach feels like when I've eaten too many arancini. But brace yourselves, back in 1995, researchers discovered a strange ring structure under Australia with the help of magnetic measurements. The so-called Deniliquin structure, which is located near the town of Deniliquin in the state of New South Wales in Australia. It is located underground in southeastern Australia and has an incredible diameter of 520 kilometers. Such structures cannot be seen with the naked eye. The researchers interpret magnetic anomalies and draw their conclusions from them. Based on the distorted field lines, they were able to recognize that a system of concentric rings grouped around a mountain in the middle under Australia, which could be an indication of an impact crater. If you look at pictures of impact craters on the moon, you can see that there is often a kind of band around the crater and a small elevation in the middle when an asteroid hits a celestial body, a lot of rock vaporizes and a kind of bowl-shaped structure remains in the ground. The ejected material is distributed around the outside of the shell, so a lot of it is thrown outwards from the center of the impact point in a circle. But something else happens in the center. Here the rock behaves a bit like water. The water then basically bounces back upwards while concentric waves form. It's the same with asteroid impacts. The rock initially bounces back while a lot of material is thrown outwards. 
and the rock in the center then falls back down and creates a small bump in the crater. This central mountain is of course no longer visible in Daniloquin. It is located 4 kilometers underground, which is why it was so difficult for the researchers to detect an impact crater. At the time of the first discovery, the scientists were not yet able to do much with the roundish indentations in the earth. There was simply a lack of data, and they were certainly unable to determine whether this enormous structure had been created by an asteroid impact. Basically, asteroid impacts and craters are exposed to the merciless nature of our planet. This means that their appearance changes over a long period of time due to erosion on Earth. Wind, rain, earthquakes, all this ensures that the original structure of a crater changes and cannot last forever. Such impact craters are simply eroded away from the Earth by erosion over the millennia, and that is what makes it so difficult to discover such craters. But research has developed enormously quickly. Today, we can fall back on new measuring methods and take a completely new look at the Earth. 2022, researcher Andrew Glickson at the University of Sydney evaluated new geophysical measurements from down under and realized that this huge crater, this huge indentation under the Australian continent, could actually be the result of an asteroid impact. This makes you wonder how such a gigantic crater could have remained hidden from humanity for so long. Glickson explains this with the consequences of erosion. He says, when an asteroid hits, it creates a crater with a bulging core. This central bulging dome can erode over millions of years and become less prominent. If the crater is not simply buried by sediments, a collision between the Earth's tectonic plates could also swallow the structure as one plate is forced under the other. As we can see, it is not so easy to uncover craters that are millions of years old. So this new discovery is all the more powerful because we found the largest impact crater ever measured on the planet. And now, think about what such a huge chunk could have done to the Earth if even a comparatively small asteroid like the one on the Yucatan Peninsula has already led to mass extinction on the entire planet. That must have been a real Armageddon. And I would say even Bruce Willis with his drilling skills wouldn't have stood a chance on the asteroid here. Glickson writes in his study that the impact in Australia took place around 445 million years ago and could have led to a violent mass extinction during the Ordovician period. The geologist estimates that 85% of all species were wiped out by this impact and the resulting devastating chain reaction. Unfortunately, most of the evidence collected so far about Daniloquin is only from the surface and Glickson emphasizes that deep drilling is needed to provide the final proof of the largest crater on Earth. I'll keep you posted on any new discoveries, but that's only possible if you follow my channel, and I know from YouTube stats that over half the viewers aren't even subscribed, but it's completely free, helps me immensely, you don't miss any videos, and help me crack the 30,000 subscribers. There are gigantic structures not only on Earth, but also in space and somewhat analogous to the current discovery in Australia. Researchers have found the largest cosmic structure in the universe, and it tells us a lot about the beginning of space and time itself, the Big Bang. If you want to feel really, really, really small, then click on the video below and watch the footage of the largest structure in the cosmos. And if you want to support my work, visit the store and get yourself some galactic plush planets, real meteorites, and more. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, folks.